Mukul Radgi, the top law officer yes. of the country, joining me live on the News Watch this evening. Uh, the Attorney General, uh, the question everybody is raising is, can uh, Navjot Singh Sidhu, as a minister by day in Punjab, continue to participate for pecuniary reasons, uh, a comedy show by night, as he has expressed his decision to do so? Can he do that, Mr. Uh, Mukul Rohatgi? <coughs> Uh, listen, Navika, I must explain to you there are two things to be understood. One is that the Constitution of India creates a disqualification for a minister and for an MP if he holds an office of profit. Now, an office of profit in the Constitution is holding a post under the government which may provide you remuneration, maybe something like holding a post of a PSU or holding any other post. So that is called an office of profit and if you hold such a post and continue to do so while you are an MP or a minister, you can be disqualified from being an MP. That is a very drastic disqualification. But in Mr. Sidhu's case, no doubt he is an MLA and he is a uh, minister. The position of office of profit is the same for an MP and for an MLA. But there is no provision in the constitution which provides for disqualification of an MLA or a minister if he was to conduct private business. So legally there is no bar. Now the second thing to be understood is that there is a code of conduct which applies to the central government and also applies to the states. The code of conduct is very clear that when you are appointed a minister or you are an MLA, you are actually a public servant even otherwise defined by law. You get full time salary to work as a minister. That full time salary is also governed by law. The idea is that you, you may not be in a master-servant relationship with the government, but you are nevertheless in the pay of the government, getting full-time emoluments. You are not expected to carry on any other business. You are not expected to earn business uh, or conduct business and earn money in the evening, because that would kind of detract you from your official duties and divert so your attention So you are saying, Mr. Mukul else. Rahadgi, uh, Mr. Mukul Rahadgi, what you are saying is that there is a fine distinction. One is the legality issue, yes. one is the propriety issue. Yes. Are yes. you saying legally, yes. Navjot Singh Sidhu can be a minister by day, but at night can earn money because he is talking throughout about earning money so that he doesn't have to become corrupt. So he can continue to earn money See, through acting I, in a comedy I, show? Well, as I told you, there is no legal or constitutional bar because the code of conduct is not uh, a law unto itself. But you must understand there is a moral and an ethical side also. The greater the position, the greater the responsibility, the greater the level of self-introspection and greater the level of probity. So if you, if you indulge in business in the evening, there is like saying, it's a switch on, switch off. That from 10 to 6, I am a public servant. After 6 p.m. till 8 a.m. in the morning, I am not a public servant. That is not a position which is really countenanced in a, a, a democracy of uh, this nation. Therefore, the code of conduct tells you these are the do's and these are the don'ts. And one clear don't is to disassociate yourself from any commercial business. And if a gentleman continues to do so, while there may not be a legal bar, it is the duty of the chief minister of the state or the prime minister at the center, wherever the case may be, to advise his minister and take remedial action if he so desires. So if this continues and the chief minister thinks in his discretion that it is not appropriate, then of course Mr. Sidhu may not then continue as a minister. 
but mr uh, mukul rohatgi the salaries and allowances bill or act of ministers of 1952 governs the salaries and allowances yes. that are given to every minister whether it's at the center or at the state level according yeah, to yeah, this correct. act yes. can you get can you get remuneration from two sources of income when you are a government servant i i as i've told you the remuneration is for a full time employment or a full time job as a minister you are not expected to do anything else but you must understand the disqualification which i mentioned in the earlier part of the program applies to an office of profit under the government which does not include private business therefore if the code of conduct is is to be followed which it should be by every high functionary then such activity should be stopped and a person must disassociate disassociate himself i can give you an example if you remember dr bidhan chandra rai he was the second chief minister of west bengal he was a physician he was a lecturer he was also a vice chancellor but even as a, a, a chief minister he used to have a, a voluntary and a free clinic for the poor so he used to still you know provide public service in the form of being a physician doing it free that is something which may be acceptable but to say that i am going to switch off at 6 pm in the evening and go and do a particular business is not actually acceptable in a democracy and if this happens i am sure the chief minister will be well advised to take remedial action but mr mukul rohatgi the talk about a code of conduct now the code of conduct is very clear section 1b of the code of conduct says that a minister should sever all connections short of divesting himself of yes, the ownership I... with the conduct and management of any business this is the code of conduct which applies to I both agree. union and to the states in such a clearly written yes. format which is there available is no doubt do you think that this is so and i have should not be following uh, for ethical this reasons this advice the code of conduct but if you go through the whole code of conduct it does not provide for a legal disqualification as is provided in the constitution for holding an office of profit that's the real distinction but those who have been with and that distinction remains but those who have been defending navjot singh sidhu and that's the congress in punjab they say that this code of conduct has been put forth by the center it's only up to a state to actually adopt it and issue a notification do you think that punjab unless it adopts and issues a notification on the code of conduct the code of conduct will not apply to uh, any any uh, minister in the punjab state government even though such a code of conduct has been put forth for the union and for all the states from the center mr mukul rohatgi the question i am asking you is that should the code of conduct which has been put forth by the center be applicable to all states or do states have to separately notify it only then it becomes applicable to the ministers of the state no i think the code of conduct applies to states and center both and the, if you see the code of conduct on the first page itself it is recorded that it is for center and state both and as i told you the final authority for the center is the prime minister and the final authority in these kind of issues is the chief minister so all states have agreed and the center has agreed and it's a joint memorandum mr mukul rohatgi my last question to you will be on the specific issue of the fact that navjot singh sindhu is also holding the portfolio of the culture ministry as a participant in a television show do you think there's any conflict of interest between him holding the culture ministry portfolio and being a participant in a comedy show i think it would be this would be an added aggravation of the violation of code of conduct because in one sense it's clearly uh, a case of uh, uh, a clear uh, uh, involvement in a comedy show and a culture ministry what if the culture ministry decides to give uh, more and more exposure to such kind of shows then obviously the the there is a compromise between the position of a culture ministry which which may be forced to show uh, uh, these shows uh, much more in terms of exposure as opposed to others that would certainly be a case of aggravation 
Well, Mr. Mukul Radhi, if Chief Minister of Punjab, uh, Mr. Amrinder Singh, were to ask you for your legal opinion on how you would advise him on whether Navjot Singh Sidhu should be allowed to participate for a payment basis in a comedy show by night, even as he is a minister by day, what would your advice to him be? My advice would be what I have told you on your show that the Chief Minister should advise Mr. Sidhu not to conduct comedy shows on a commercial basis in the evening. He should uh, reserve all energies and do whatever he can for the people. He is essentially, every minister is essentially a public servant. One should not forget that this is a matter of doing a public service and public duty to, it, to your citizens and there cannot be any switch off and switch on. A minister may be called upon to exercise his, his uh, uh, discretion or may be asked to work even in the middle of a night. So it is not as if that you are a minister till 6 p.m. and you switch off. Now take another case. I mean I appear in courts. Judges get full salary. They, they work from 10 to 4 in the court. They work for an hour or two in the home. Can a judge say that from 8 p.m. in the evening till 12 at midnight I am no longer a judge, I am not required, so I can run a restaurant or a hotel. It is absolutely, uh, uh, you know, it lead to an absurd situation. You take a case of a government servant. A government servant goes to a ministry, works from 10 to 6. Can he start by saying, I take full salary, house and houses, but from 8 right. p.m. in the evening, I will go and run a discotheque. That's not the idea. And therefore, and as you said, culture ministry, this makes it, as I said, I've used the phrase, more aggravated. So I would advise the chief minister to request his young minister to desist from these activities and put his uh, whole time effort into what he has uh, uh, taken an oath for, namely to do public service. Well, uh, on that note, I'd like to thank you, Mr. Mukul Rahadgi, for uh, telling us the thank legal you. provisions and the ethical provisions on what involves uh, uh, Navjot Singh Sidhu's minister role by day and a comedian role by night. Thank you very much for joining us, uh, Mr. Rahadgi.